I'm sorry to announce 2021 has started. Sean, how you deal with people that do careers around the country? 2021 has started very poorly for Berkeley. COVID-19 has reached us in an event they are calling the Super Spreader Event. Yesterday when we reported, we spoke of an increasing, a trend of increasing numbers of cases of COVID being related to a bus crawl that took place on Boxing Day. <laughs> That trend has continued and overnight we've continued testing. I can report that there have been several, an increase in the numbers of cases associated with this bus crawl with at least 161 at this time related to a prison inmates and indeed prison wardens and civilian staff of Dodds Prison. To be able to test the entire prison population and they can report that we have achieved that. Those tests would have yielded the results indicated by Minister Walcott, and we are continuing the process because this is the strategy that we have to use in order for us to be able to contain the spread of this virus. In 2020, we did really well to contain the spread of the virus. But as the year came to a close, we all became a little relaxed and all restrictions were lifted. Barbadians took to what we most love of gathering, environment at Christmas time, friends and family, parties and gatherings. After what felt like what was the roughest year in history, for most of us at least, we decided to celebrate and enjoy the season. That has not worked out for us very well. Uh, the curfew, just to remind you, it was announced yesterday, but the curfew period is now between the hours of 9 p.m. and 5 a.m. No one is to be on the roads of Barbados, out of their residences, anything of the sort, unless they fit within two exceptions. It's being called the Super Spreader Event. This event the name for which I will place here. Um, I think everyone recognizes the incident that has given rise to this particular directive and therefore it is important for us to limit the kinds of social activity that Barbadians have become so accustomed to engaging in and at the same time have been so reckless in terms of, of their participation. The kinds of ads that are out there encouraging people to come to bus crawls. You've seen the one called Brandy and Panani. Uh, Brandy and Panani. You will also no doubt have seen uh, another one scheduled for the 23rd of June uh, called a No Underwear Bus Crawl. Um, these bus crawls are obviously a clear and present danger in terms of the closeness and the interaction of, of the individuals participating in them. So while this directive is banning bus crawls for the next two weeks until the 14th, I can say to you, to you with absolute certainty that when the 14th comes, we are going to be extending the ban on bus crawls beyond this current period. We're in this dreadful position simply because of the intrinsic nature of this kind of event and we simply can't afford to permit them to continue at this time. This was what we call a bus crawl. Again, I will describe it here.
held on the 26th of December, Boxing Day. Several persons from different businesses across Barbados attended this event, I guess innocently. I'm not 100% sure. And it is being said prison wardens, officers, and some members of the police force or defense force, in case I am incorrect in the specific definition of these names, I'm being very clear. These persons attended the event. From the photos, you'll see how it was quite possible for it to happen. But this is our culture. We're very liberal in our physical movements. <laughs> I don't know how else to put it. I'm sorry. Um, yes, we're a little liberal in our dancing and interactions. If you have never seen crop over. Um, so it's literally spreading like wildfire with almost 100 cases, positive cases of COVID-19, 194 to be at SAC. Which are linked to Her Majesty's prison duds and the prison, some of the prison officers and some of the defense force. How is it linked to this event? With prison officers and law enforcement personnel attended this event, I believe, they would have been they would have come in contact i believe i believe they would have come in contact with persons who would have been positive who traveled to barbados for example we've had a couple of cases where persons breached their quarantine um here's a couple so that is one theory on how these prison officers personnel security personnel whatever you want to call them were linked then to locals in the community causing this why it's now being called a super spreader event. Now, why is it being called super spreader event rather than just calling it community spread? Um, there's this fear that if we label it as community spread, we will have to shut our borders. Hence, I guess the new name super spreader event. The attorney general spoke in terms of the issues with private and public sector. And I'd just like to remind all of you that in back in June, when we were coming out of the initial close, it was well recognized after meetings at the gymnasium of the private sector and the unions, that indeed that lockdown can presents several challenges to the Barbados in terms of economic survival, etc. And so we are doing this uh, using the meeting with the private sector and the unions in terms of this process going forward. When you Google, the definition of community spread it is as this. Community spread is when someone gets the virus without any known contact with a person who is positive. There's a lot of hearsay, there's a lot of opinions going around on how this came to be, how Barbadians are now so easily getting infected with COVID-19. Warning. The following video contains explicit language, which may be offensive to some viewers or inappropriate for children. The content within this video is intended for mature audiences only. It is very irritating to also understand. Me, I love you. I vote for you, I care. I tell you people. But take some responsibility. The quarantine facilities need to take responsibility. The security firms, responsibility. The government, the protocol units, responsibility for allowing people to break quarantine, breach, and act irresponsibly because we were trusting their well-being, well, we were trusting them to act accordingly, and they didn't. The fuck up. The do can't. And we cruel. Are you blaming me? Every event, every bar, every restaurant, follow protocols, follow the rules and regulations, want to reduce the numbers. So people go line up in the outside by the bank. We do all of that. Yes. Everybody go hold accountable for the actions. And people went outside and were told to put a mask and do X, Y, Z. And still maintain social distancing. We free up. Because we tell ourselves we can trust the border control and trust.
quarantine facilities to keep things in place, but they fucking didn't. They fucked up. And now we getting blamed. A partner of mine say, don't talk to me like we are children, because that's what you was doing last night, talk to me like we fucking children. Like we are to blame. We are not to blame. You should have put some uniform patrol outside the airport and in the hotels to secure the fact and fear should be driven inside of the visitors knowing that if the breach quarantine is straight so or straight so or straight so that they're going. Don't blame the little tin pan that roll around with the music. Yes, a little reckless. But we didn't think we had COVID rolling around on these streets as it did. Motherfuckers jump over walls and wait Lone Star. This is from 6th December 7th. This is last weekend. Don't play a boxing day. People breach. People wait from a villa to another villa to a house and they tested fucking positive and are outside fucking around again. So how the fuck they get outside and they have not been crucified for their actions? Do not treat you like these rascal puppets and string and street sheep in a hurdle. Camp and there, don't wear your mask so, don't wear your mask so, don't wear your mask so. You vex. Me, you is my G. I respect you 100%. I think you're the best thing that happened to Barbados. And we have handled it so fantastically well, yes. But we have lapsed. Not just the locals, not just the population, but in the seriousness of the manner of the people that are held accountable for their actions. We have not proven that we have dealt with that correctly. We have not also proven that the protocols and the quarantine facilities are created in a manner that these people will be dealt with for doing fuckeries in we streets, ja. But we got to get blamed for it now. We got to lose money. We got to face the fact that we ain't gonna get paid now. All of we work. And we fucked. And you can blame we for going to a lunch. We should all be held accountable for our actions. The same words that everybody on that podium portray, the creaky podium. As it relates to the COVID-19 pandemic in Barbados. I'm here this evening. I'm here this evening. I'm here this evening. Portray to me. Take responsibility for your actions as well. Because the breach of quarantine is where it started. You understand? And the Miz always say a tree can stand strong if it roots are fucking rot rotten roots. Deal with it properly. You understand me? Or come at me. No go play money shake up again. We gotta start taking longevity, not short live. We want these people rush and come in and we want to treat them rough and ragged. But we get treat rough and ragged every fucking way we go. So deal with them the same raw swallow here. Some are saying the government should have closed the borders by now, that they shouldn't have, you know, relaxed our restrictions. All in all, I want to hear you guys. What are your opinions on this entire thing of what's happening in Barbados? Because right now we have 194 cases out of 300 and some cases in total for the entire pandemic. And that is a big spike and it is worrying. And for those coming to Barbados, you guys should know, for those who live here, you know, it's a lot of, there's a lot of conversation. There's a lot of pointing fingers. There's a lot of, it was the, it was the fault of the, the, the event. What is it? Brandy and Punani. They're saying it's the government's fault. You know, I think overall, we all need to take responsibility for what's happening. We all have to do what is right. We need to be responsible. We need to be a brother's keeper. So if you happen to know someone that attended an event or someone that, you know, came in contact with someone that came in from overseas and you don't see anything and you just say, man, they're not gonna have it. It's not gonna happen. You know, it's not my problem. And then things like this happen. If we don't care for each other and take care of ourselves to sanitize our hands, wherever we go, to wear a mask, to keep our hands on our faces, you know, to frequently wash our hands for long periods of time, you know, it is each person's onus to do what is right. Whether you're a local, you're a tourist, respect the country, whether you're a local or a tourist. That's my opinion. 
Um, so guys, tell me what do you think? What do you think is happening different now in Barbados than what happened in 2020? 2020, 2020, 2021 has started off really poorly for us. Um, a lot of us are scared. Right now, today is the 4th of January and we are on curfew from 9 p.m. till 5 a.m. We are on a bank holiday today and tomorrow so that the government can control the spread through um, being able to do contact tracing and find those who would have, I don't know, if you attended the event and you live in the same household or you saw that person, remember their house, they're trying to connect and find everyone who has the virus right now. It's a lot on the government um, to get this done. And I, I'm sorry, I, I, if anyone disagrees, I do applaud them for their efforts. And this is all new. We, we've never had to experience this before. I can't see how any government in any form would be able to know exactly how to map out how things should be done. I think they've done their best as they can. Um, taking into consideration, if we have our borders closed consistently in from 2020 straight to 2021, tourism as our money earner, main money earner, how do we survive? Um, but yes, then you want to protect your locals. But then your locals need to be responsible as well. You know, keep your numbers very small. Your home family. Make it possible that you're able to recall who you've come in contact with if by chance you happen to end up with a positive COVID-19 test. So yes, the sun is going down, my light's changing, and I just want to tell you guys, I just want to keep you guys updated for um, what's happening in Barbados. Sadly, this had to be the first video of 2021 on a bit of a negative note, but I hope to give you guys some positive videos from Barbados going forward. Uh, we're going to give you all, uh, we're going to give you all of the good of Barbados, all the hidden treasures. And we're going to give you the facts of Barbados in between with a little bit of comedy and some vlogs. So guys, if you want to see more videos like this, and if you have an opinion on everything I just discussed, don't forget to like and subscribe, leave me a comment. I respond to every single one of you guys, and I love every single one of you. You do not even know how much you mean to me. My subscribers, you guys are truly, you keep me going. And I love what I do, and I do it for you guys. So again, like, subscribe, leave me a comment, and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.